Hey, welcome into my very first uh, reading of my oracle, the uh, the mirror of the maker. Yep. So there we go. So this is for someone who asked me, like who expressed a very sense of confusion, confusion in his life. Uh, I'm not going to give any name for the sake of anonymity and privacy, obviously. But the idea was, should I, where should I move? Because I feel the need to move, and how can I? Um, how can I live from my uh, career, from what I want to do, because I feel I feel stuck. Uh, there we go. So card number one. So just to explain, I already read all of them. I just turned them uh, upside down again for the sake of suspense. But I have my understanding and I will go through the story now. So this is this card. Those two cards, actually, they are the places you are, my friend. This is the place you are right now. And this is the place your soul is calling you. That may be one of the three cities you have mentioned, that may be your city, or that may be someone else. Yeah, it will speak to you more than me, probably. This is where you are right now, and obviously the closure upside down represents the fact that you can't move, you're completely stuck. And it also gives the idea of there is something that you're not able to cut ties with. Could be friends, could be family, could be a relationship, could be maybe the job that is giving you money right now, but obviously there is something you can't cut off, which explain why you're, you're still here. This is you here, your state. So this is how the universe tell me to do the reading. This is where you are, where your, the, your soul is calling you. This is the state you are right now. This is how to go from here to here, and this is who you will become, which didn't make much sense for me, like, what, it's, it's, a, it's a bit useless, but then it made sense at the end, you will see. So this is your state right now. Reframe, reversed, upside down, we can see the snake, the symbol of life energy, being reversed, so there is a feeling of being absolutely of being contained, of being uh, imprisoned. So th those two cards at the same time give me the mirror aspect, give me the reflection of someone feeling stuck and completely unhappy about it. It's like you don't feel like as doing what you want to do. And I have a lot of uh, compassion for you right now because this gives me a lot of sadness and I can feel a lot of sadness in your situation. Let's see. That, and we can see there is a second knife that may represent something. We'll go to where your soul is calling you. And this is another knife, the law. I have no idea what the law exactly means, but uh, my intuition told me that it will speak to you more than me. That um, is it the city you're in? Is it one of the three cities you're of? Or is your, in your intuition uh, telling you that the law represents another place? I don't know myself, but what I can see, and I know what what you do for what you want to do for a living, like it reminds me kind of a kind of a, a brush. If you look, it's like there is like the act of coloring with some with your life energy that we can find here, and that we can find here as well. So, and I know um, art is so important for you. <clears throat> there is some there is something stuck, but uh, definitely. Your soul is calling you for that. So you're meant to express yourself with art, with your blood, so calling, with your, uh, with, with, with your passion that comes from your heart. So now the idea is how can you go from this, this state and this place to this place? And who will you become? And this is what the cards is showing me. Make your knife. <laughs> And that's that's extremely that's extremely interesting to have. Um, I think those are uh, there is only a few a few knives in the game, and and we are almost almost got all them all here. This card is the very simple card of manifestation, conscious manifestation. Imagine, see, close your eyes, imagine and feel it. And the idea, and this is something I told you in private once. Stop doing magic because I know you're a sorcerer. Stop doing magic for the stuff you don't want. Like stop uh, using magic to create shield and protections and uh, curses and stuff like this. Be, like use this power of creation towards what you want, which is express yourself. And this is indeed it made a lot of sense eventually. So why is this card here? It's like who will you become in that process of moving in your life and in your um, 
in, in your career, uh, you will become that will completely spit it out, <laughs> whatever is in your mind. So you will feel you will feel great and you will feel colorful and, and beautiful and expressive. So the whole universe is encouraging you right now to absolutely do that, to be more expressive. And how can you do that? What is the bridge toward this, that situation, to this situation? Extremely simple. Imagine who you want to be. Imagine who you want, who you will become once you will be fully expressed. And there is something as well. It's like the fact that there is the low and the tie here makes me think that maybe there is an unresolved situation that makes you feel stuck. And the, the very reason why you haven't moved so far is because maybe you haven't forgiven to whatever happened. Or, or I, I have this very vague feeling that someone, or maybe a lot of people, I don't know, or some people or someone has done, uh, hurted you. I don't know if that was physical. I don't know if that was involved with the actual law itself. You know what I mean? Like judiciary court case. But something is unresolved. And only through the mean of imagination, if you use from no one, 100% of your magical art toward becoming who you are and not trying to fix the past and move on, then, then you will go where you have to go. This is what the universe is telling me. I have, this is just the story I have. I, I wish uh, with all my heart that it uh, was useful for you. And, um, and thank you very much. Wish you the best. Bye-bye.